What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence, the Mighty Comics Guy, back with another video. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks, just have a lot of stuff going on at home. But uh, I have a few books that I picked up over the past couple of weeks, I wanted to show you guys what they were. One of them being something really special in my opinion, so you guys let me know what you think. Uh, but this is Weekend Comic Haul number 29. Hopefully next week I'll have some books to show you number 30 because that's a little bit of a milestone. But either way, uh, we are currently at 350 subscribers. Finally hit that magic number. Uh, hopefully we can work our way up to 500 and then do some kind of an awesome, awesome giveaway. But either way, we're here for Weekend Comic Haul number 29. And I'm going to show you guys what I picked up over the past couple of weeks. So the first book I picked up was a, a classic cover, in my opinion. Uh, I've seen this book at my LCS numerous times. I think they have a, a bunch of copies, but um, I never really wanted to spend too much money in this book. So I picked up a low-grade copy of Fantastic Four number 55, classic Jack Kirby cover with the Silver Surfer and the Thing. Um, this book definitely does have some wear. Uh, the worst of it being uh, both staples have rust on it, which really, really sucks. Um, other than that, the book is not too bad. There's a big crease on the lower right-hand corner of the book, a little bit of a dog ear on one on that same side. You know, a bunch of spine ticks and, you know, some creasing up at the top, but nothing too, too bad. The book still presents okay. Like I said, the worst of it being those two rusty staples, so... Either way, a classic Kirby cover. I want to tell you what I paid for this book, under 20 bucks. So I was willing to spend that for such a low-grade book. But um, totally worth it in my eyes to have this cover. So that's the first book that I picked up for this week's haul. The second book I had been searching for for a while. Now when I say a while, a few months, not years or something like that. Um, it's a minor key. It is Tales of Suspense number 59. This book actually is the first appearance of Jarvis, uh, which I didn't know. So when I picked it up, I was super stoked to find that out. Uh, again, a low-grade copy of this book. There's some, a bunch of creasing, a bunch of other stuff going on. Um, not really benefited from a press, but either way, just a cool key and a cool cover that I wanted to pick up. So either way, happy to have this bad boy in the collection. And... Um, as you guys know, I have a lot of big keys, so when I find small keys that are reasonably priced, uh, I try to pick them up. So that, that's what I'm, I'm trying to collect now. So I have one more thing to show you guys. And when I saw this, I thought it was special. Um, as I always do, I'm going on eBay, I'm, I'm, I'm looking up books, I'm looking up things, you know, searching for things that, uh, you know, are rare or, you know, not everybody has or, or something new that I didn't, I didn't know about. So when I came across this, I've seen other ones before, but when I came across this for the price that it was listed at, I had to jump at it. Um, when I show you guys what this is, I hope you guys will agree with me on that. But either way, what I paid for this thing, I, I, I know I could definitely get my money back, but uh, I definitely think it's worth a lot more than what I paid for. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what that is. It is. Amazing Fantasy 15, just a page out of that book. It is, I believe, the 10th page signed by none other, Stan the Man himself. Now, unfortunately, this is a page that's not out of the direct story of Spider-Man. It is a, um, you know, one of the uh, smaller stories within that book. But either way, it's a page out of Amazing Fantasy 15, and it is signed by Stan Lee. As you guys can see, it's got that cool Stan Lee... Uh, CGC label, which I love. Um, you don't see too many of these around anymore. They're not made anymore. Uh, I wish they, they would still do that, do that because I do think they're amazing. So uh, this is my second Stanley signature. Uh, first I have on my Incredible Hulk number 181. It's a CBCS 4.0 uh, witness signature. Uh, but this to me is special because of what it's on. I don't own an Amazing Fantasy 15 with Stan Signature on it or an Amazing Spider-Man 1 or any Amazing Spider-Man book. So to have a page out of AF15 signed by him, which is, in my opinion, his most iconic work, and I think probably most people out there would agree with me, I think this is special and I paid a really low amount for it. So when I saw it listed, I jumped at it and I snagged it up. I see regular pages for AF15s go for like $1,000. Um, so I, I didn't even pay anywhere close to that. So I was super stoked to land this. 
I'm proud to have another Stan Lee signature in my collection. You, you never know, I may get uh, another one, but for right now, this goes to the top of the list in my uh, of my Stan Lee signatures. So, anyway, this is Weekend Comic Call number 29, guys. Again, thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done so already, I ask that you subscribe. Uh, I try to put out content anytime I can. Hopefully, I come up with some new stuff besides haul videos to show you guys what I pick up. But uh, either way, this is Lawrence the Mighty Comics Guy saying thanks for watching my video. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank <laughs> you.